Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm tie-dyeing washcloths and socks. All the items were soaked in a soda ash solution and then I wrung them out of my pan to spin dryer. I'm starting out folding the washcloths and I'm just gonna randomly fold these in a bunch of different designs. All of the washcloths are 100% cotton and I purchased them from Costco. I think they're called hospitality washcloths. They're really nice and thick and I think they came in a pack of 24. I'm only gonna fold 12 of them though. So I don't know if you've ever heard of a project called Operation Shoebox, but it's basically where you make shoeboxes and they distribute them to children in other countries at Christmas time. So I'm making the socks and the washcloths to add to my shoeboxes along with toys and other things. For this first washcloth, I folded it and I'm using some sinew to tie it into a mandala. The next washcloth, I'm gonna fold with the flag fold pattern. This is more of a shibori type technique. I thought it'd be fun though to try it on a washcloth and see how it works. Most of the washcloths, I'm gonna ice dye, so you're not really gonna be able to see most of the pattern. They're just gonna kinda have color on them. I've sped up the tying process quite a bit, but feel free to use the settings section in YouTube to either speed up the tying more or to slow it down if you'd like to see a little bit more about what I'm doing. There's a settings icon and you can press that and either increase the speed or decrease the speed. I'm tying 12 washcloths and 10 pair of socks, so it's gonna take a little bit Thank you. 
Okay, so I have all the washcloths tied and now I'm gonna tie the socks. I ordered the socks from Amazon and they're youth size socks. They're Amazon Essentials brand and it came in a pack of 10. The package says they're 74% cotton, 19% polyester, 6% nylon, and 1% elastane. So I'm curious to see how these dye up. I already know that any part of the sock that is not cotton is not gonna take the dye. So I'm prepared to see little bits of white in the sock from the elastic and the polyester and the nylon. I still think it'll be fun though to at least have some color on these socks. To keep them together as pairs, I'm gonna tie them both together. So I'm laying one sock on top of the other when I begin tying them. And just like I did with the washcloths, I'm gonna tie them in just a variety of different ways. I'm not gonna ice dye the socks though. I'm gonna use up some liquid dye that I have sitting around from when I made all the rainbow shirts. Okay, so I'm gonna start by dyeing the socks first. 
and I'm going to dye quite a few of them at the same time. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to use up some of the rainbow dyes that I already have mixed up. So these are all Dharma colors that I'm going to use on the liquid dyed socks. The colors that I'm using on the first batch of socks are Lime Squeeze, Turquoise, Lemon Yellow, Bright Yellow, Electric Blue, Robin's Egg Blue, Granny Apple, a little bit more Lime Squeeze, and some new Emerald Green. I didn't change out the container, but I did wash my rack off in between these different batches of dye. So for the second batch, I'm using deep orange, light red, hot pink, and orange sorbet. Then for the socks that are tied with the sinew, I'm going to use blue violet, lavender, and deep purple. I'm going to liquid dye just a couple of the washcloths. I'm going to do the mandala washcloth and I'm using deep purple, hot pink, blue violet, turquoise. Then I'm going to repeat that color pattern, but on the very end, I kind of run out of dye. So I'm just going to do a mixture of all of the dye on the very last section. 
By the way, I didn't let any of these dry out, but they are washcloths, so they're really soaking up the dye. For the flag fold and one of the accordion folds, I thought it would be interesting to take some blue violet and some of the deep purple and place them down in small cups and just dip the washcloths down inside of the cups. The washcloths are doing really well to wick or soak up the dye. Then the one washcloth that's an accordion fold washcloth, I'm going to put just a little bit of fire red right down the middle of these two colors. The rest of the washcloths, I'm going to ice dye. I put them all down inside of a container and I'm almost out of ice, so I'm using just about all the ice that I can find. I'm even using up some little bits and pieces of ice from like Whole Foods and Sprouts from where I brought my groceries home. It's not a whole bunch of ice on top, but I think it's going to work. For this batch, I'm using Bluebird from Dharma, Mermaid's Dream from Dharma, Brilliant Blue from Dharma, Alpine Blue from Pro Chemical and Dye, Viridian Blue from Grateful Dyes, and Turquoise from Grateful Dyes. I'm just going to sprinkle the dye on top, and then I forgot to sprinkle the soda ash on top on camera, but I did go ahead and put a little sprinkle of soda ash over the top. Then I actually covered all of the socks and the washcloths and put them outside and left them for a little while. I let them process for probably about 24 hours. Then I took them to my utility sink and I started rinsing them in cold water. I rinsed them for just a little while in hot water, but I didn't really mess with trying to spend a lot of time rinsing them in hot water. I know because the washcloths are so thick and absorbent that it's going to take a little while to get all of this color, excess color at least, out of the washcloths. So I went ahead and filled both sides of my sink with really hot water, put a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent in the water, and I soaked the socks and I soaked the washcloths. When the water cooled off, I changed it out and continued the soaking process for probably about 24 to 36 hours. So I found that one of the hardest colors to get out of the shirt is blue. It seems like blue wants to just bleed for a long time. So I didn't think this through very well when I used blue on super absorbent washcloths. So that's the reason why I soaked them for so long. I wanna make sure they don't bleed a whole lot the first time they're washed. So after soaking the washcloths and the socks, I put them into my washing machine and I washed them on a hot water cycle using some Dharma's textile detergent. I went ahead and washed these a couple of times in a hot water cycle using the Dharma's textile detergent. Then I threw them in the dryer and this is what they look like. Okay, so here's what the socks look like. And I am pleasantly surprised at how bright and vibrant these socks are. I think they took the dye really, really well. I mean, they do have the white flux that I was talking about, but you're going to have that if you dye socks. Um, there has to be something to keep the socks up, so they have to put elastic in socks, and that for sure won't dye. I zoomed into just the green socks, and they look really good. You can't totally tell the different design that I put in each of the socks because they're so small the design doesn't really show up. They do have some variety though in where the colors are on the socks. The hardest part for me though was trying to pair the socks up. As I'm looking at this photograph I notice I've got the two bottom right hand pairs of socks flip-flopped. I have them paired up wrong so I need to go find and fix that pair of socks. Here's a close-up of the orange and pink socks. And finally, a close-up of the purple socks. I think these are my favorite, just for obvious reasons, because I like the design in the socks, and I like the purple color. I do think, though, that this is the pair of socks that highlights the white portions of the socks 
the most. Okay, so here are the blue washcloths. And for some reason, I ended up with a few oddball colors in these. I was expecting the green because of the Mermaid's Dream and Viridian Blue, but the pink color, I'm not really sure where that came from. But I'm really happy with the way the washcloths took the dye. I think they look really pretty. They are 100% cotton, but you just never know. I mean, honestly, this is my first time tie dyeing washcloths. And here are the three washcloths that I used the liquid dye on. The one on the left hand side was the flag fold. The one in the middle is the one that was the accordion fold where I dipped one end in one color, the other end in another color, and I put the fire red right down the middle between the two colors. And then the one on the right hand side was the mandala. And I really like all three of these. I really like both of the ones, the flag fold and the accordion fold, where I dipped the washcloth. I think I might need to try that using a shirt. I think that would be maybe a fun experiment to do. Okay, so overall I'm really pleased with the way the socks and the washcloths took the dye and the way they turned out. So you might check out some of the Amazon basics for socks. And Costco is great. They have the washcloths, they have hand towels, and they have bath towels. So if you're wanting to dye some towels, that might be a good source for those as well. If you guys have enjoyed the video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.